Randy Robinson of Life Today TV. I am here in St. Louis at the ICRS convention talking to singer-songwriter Laura Story. Uh, you may remember Chris Tomlin's Indescribable. That was her. Welcome. <laughs> well, thanks so much for having me. It was That's a pleasure. Great, great to have you. Now, okay, you have been nominated for Dove Awards, uh, you, you Female Vocals of the Year, your song Blessings done really great. You, you've had a lot of success as a songwriter. Where, where are you at in that? I mean, you, are you happy with the way things are going? Oh, I'm more than happy. Yeah. <laughs> Never in a million years did I imagine uh, that any of this would have happened. I, well, I started off as a songwriter, as you said, you know, wrote Indescribable, and, and I feel like over the past, I guess maybe four or five years, God has been pushing me more towards the stage, and I'm, I'm getting to deliver some of these songs myself, which I'm still getting used to. Yeah. I still, I'm not sure whether I like it or not. Yeah. I think that I do because it, yeah. It gives me, it's a great opportunity to connect with people and, and for me to share my story and to hear their stories, and, and that's, that's been a really neat thing. A part of your story yes. is uh, the difficulties that your husband has have, had. Yes, sir. Tell me a little bit about that and how that's impacted yeah. everything you do. Well, we, uh, Martin was died, we got married about nine years ago, and within the first couple years of our marriage, noticed that Martin was having some health symptoms and uh, was eventually diagnosed with a brain tumor. And so for the past seven years, he has had, uh, he had an, multiple surgeries, um, at the front end of that, but the past seven years has lived with some disabilities because of the surgery, because of some complications. And he lives with a, a memory deficit and a vision deficit. Mm -hmm. And so we are learning to live with disability. Yeah. And that that's, it's not a plan that we would have chosen for our lives. And so, so much of our ministry has to do with learning how to worship God and give Him uh, our praise even when we don't necessarily understand why our lives have turned out the way that they have. And when you don't get what you ask for, because no exactly. doubt you've had lots of people praying for Him, yeah. and praying the song, for healing and recovery. Yeah. And, and the song Blessings is, is just about that, you know, the opening line. We, we pray for healing. We pray for, you know, safety. And, and everyone prays for those things for their family. And sure. certainly nothing wrong with that. But sometimes God uses those harder things in life to accomplish um, his purposes and his plans. And, uh, and one thing I can say, even though I don't understand our situation, it's been a story in which we've seen God give, um, he's given us strength to walk through it. And we've seen him get so much glory and so much praise through the road that we've walked. Uh, and that's what we set out to do. You know, as followers of Christ, we said, God, let our lives be about your glory. And, and it may not have been the path that we would have chosen, but we're, we're still seeing that God is um, just as faithful, just as faithful to, to use that hard path to glorify himself. Some people would say that, that something like that, a health issue, something, that, a prayer that's not answered would expose a lack of faith on mm -hmm. your part. But what I hear you saying is that God has used it to deepen your faith mm -hmm. and, to, and to share that with others. Is that yeah. what you're sensing? Yes. And, and we've had people, um, <laughs> it, yeah, we've had people that, that have, have shared that with us. And, and there are few things that break my heart the way that does, mm -hmm. where uh, if, if you knew my husband, Martin, uh, he, is, he is such a great man and loves God and has served God in ministry. And, um, and when someone comes up to him and, and insinuates that it's sin in his life that has caused him not to be fully healed, that, that's just a really hard thing to say to someone. When I would, when I would want to say, um, I have 10 times more sin in my own life than my husband does, why am I not sick? Yeah. yeah. Fair question, and that, you know, the disciples asked Jesus the same thing. Absolutely. Was it his fault or his parents' fault that yeah. he's blind? And Jesus said, it's not either one of them's fault. Yeah. It's so that my glory could be revealed. Yeah. Or even so, the, the apostle Paul, it talks about that thorn in his flesh, and he never tells us what it actually is. He just says there's this thorn, and the reason God left it there wasn't because of Paul's awful past of killing Christians. It wasn't because God wasn't powerful enough to remove it. He says, I'm leaving it there so that my strength could be glorified in your weakness. And that's the purpose he gives us. And so we, got, we just have to trust that even though we don't understand it all, we can see every day of our lives, every ministry opportunity, we see God 
getting glorification through our weakness. Are you just hanging on or do you feel a supernatural like comfort level that, that comes to you in these yeah. times? It's both. It's both right at the same time. It's, we have days of just hanging on. But the neat thing is there's mornings that we wake up and think, God, I can't walk this road on my own. And that's when I hear his voice saying, Laura, you don't have to. You never have had to. Um, and we see in the midst of our weakness, in the midst of our inadequacy, we see God. Where we are incapable, he is capable. And he's just been this strength and calming presence in our lives um, that gives purpose to any trial that we ever walk through. It's been a, a very supernatural experience. Mm -hmm. You tell this in the book. Uh, you got the song Blessings in the book. What if blessings come through the raindrops? Is that yes. right? And that book is out and available. Is, yes. Do you talk about all this in the book? Absolutely. Well, and, and the song Blessings, you know, it's this four-minute synopsis of, of what we've gone through. But what I wasn't able to say in the song is that there's so many truths in Scripture that we held on to in the midst of this trial. And the book really breaks that down and, and talks about, I mean, it's mostly Scripture. There's even space to journal and just kind of, so, so it's not just my reflections because <laughs> my reflections are, I mean, they're okay. They're just my reflections, but people can have their own insight because it's not just about me saying, hey, if you're going through this hard thing, you should do this. It's not a book about advice. It's, it's a, right, big, a book about, people through it absolutely. It's, it's a book about scripture and how those things um, were anchors for my soul in the midst of the trials we walked through. And then it has a section where it says, now you, you figure out how God might use this scripture to tether your heart more closely to him. Mm. Great, great, great stuff. Thank you for sharing your story. Oh, thank I know you. it's not easy necessarily to share it, but hopefully a lot of comfort will come to those who hear your story. Be sure to check her out. It's at laurastorymusic.com and her, her recent book, what if blessings come through the raindrops? Teardrops, raindrops. 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 And which teardrops. Are, which are like teardrops. <laughs> it could be either, really. Check out her website. <laughs> Thank you for being with us. Thank you so much.